Hello everyone, today we are going to make the Serpentine Pavilion by Big Architects, which is this one. I have collected some photographs from the internet, just to take the reference of plan and elevation and views to make other details. So this pavilion, we are going to make the surface in Rhino, and after that we are going to make the, these uh, this pattern in Grasshopper. So first we will raster it. I will select the image and I will lock it and after that I will make We need section also, so I am going to make the section. So this is your plan. We will trim our shape. So after some modifications, we just come up with this section and this is our plan. So it comes out to be, come up like this. So first you will rotate it and then we need to make the size as per our proportions. So for making that, we will calculate the boxes. These boxes in horizontal directions are 53. So basically, and vertical box 32. So this is there and in that way we will, this dimension should be 53. So what we will do is we will select this part, we will scale it, the normal scale, we will select the first point, second point and then the value. And the units of this file as millimeters. We are considering this one box as one millimeter by one millimeter. After that you can further scale it. So you will scale your section also and you will scale the section in such a way that select this line, control C, control V and your height will be 32. So this is your height. So select your section move it rotate it rotate 3d axis and then like this then move and then scale so like this now further you need to edit it to Join this curve with this part, move it like this up to this point and try to reduce your points as much as you can. So your form should be something like this. I have already done this form so it has to be something like this. The curve should have only four points one is here one is here one is here and one is here this point should be very perpendicular or in the alignment of vertical line somewhere here and this point should be vertical aligned to this point so this way you will get this curve so now after getting this curve now what you need to do is you need to copy this 
on top of it. So similarly, you will copy this curve on this point and you will select these two points and move it there. So we have basically two sections right now and we have two rings. You can have like in between also if you want. So just select it, copy it and put it somewhere in the middle and then select these two points and move it backwards like this. Now go to surface, sweep two rails. This is your first rail, second rail and then you have to select all the sections. So it will give you the form. And similarly you will make for another one. This time uh, we are taking this curve Control C, Control V, dragging it, and this time I'm putting it somewhere here. And again, you will on the points, you select the points, and like this. So, here you have like again, you have three sections. Like this is first section and this is second and this is third. So sweep two rail, the first rail, second rail, first section, second section and third. So it will make your form like this. So if you see now and you shade it more, you have something like this. Which is if you see So if you see, it is like this, the same form as it is shown. Yeah. So we have to reach first to this point so that these surfaces are there. After that, we can achieve the form and grasshopper. So, for this thing, it's this much. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.